it's almost time so we'll close the class but what do you mean by dynamic logic hmm dynamic means that something is moving something is i think something is moving something is movement it's not like sir it's when we are using the clock when we are using a clock yes so the dynamic circuits for example so in let us look at it like this in static circuits what are we doing at every point of time except in switching output is connected to either vdd or ground via a low resistance path because there is a pull up stack and a pull down stack in dynamic logic the output may actually be connected or left be left floating so you are depending on storage of output on some capacitance okay so what does this mean this means that you have for example a dynamic gate and you have a clock also going to it now when ck is equal to 0 then what happens this p mos is on this n mos is off output goes to one theek okay? hai this phase is called the pre charge phase now when you want to evaluate the output of a b and c of this combinational gate when a b and c values are fixed then what happens ck goes to one ck goes to one means what would happen the p mos would turn off the n mos would turn on m e would turn on m evaluate would turn on and now you will evaluate the uh, the dynamic gate hmm and once evaluated suppose uh, let us say that c is equal to 0 and b is also equal to 0 so the evaluation says that out has to be 1 but clk is 1 so out is now being left floating are you able to see this out is not any longer driven to one out is left floating that is where it is called as dynamic logic are you able to see this so when clock was one then the lower end mos will Uh, will be like open switch sorry close switch and so i will have a path yeah uh, and if a b c are one then okay no, no, no. i am saying when c is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0 okay when a b c are one then to yes zero chala jayega kuch problem nahi hai output is driven to zero yeah. so we consider so as designers you have to look at the worst case what is the worst case नहीं There was no change in output expected. If b is zero and c is zero, there was no change in output expected. Yes, sir. But out is now floating. Out is not driven to one because the CLK is one, and there is no path to ground. It was not meant to be because if if b is equal to zero and c is equal to zero, then there was no path to ground. There was no. It was not meant to be there. Hey na? So what are we saying? अब इसमें ध्यान दो इफ लेट एस से देर इज अ ग्लिच ऑन बी बी वॉज जीरो बट देर इज अ ग्लिच दैट कम्स ऑन बी ए इज वन वॉट हैपन्स नाउ आउट विल डिस्चार्ज एंड नाउ देर इज नो वे टू रिकवर आउट नाउ अंटिल द क्लॉक गोज बैक टू जीरो अगेन अंटिल माई रिचार्ज फेस स्टार्ट अगेन देर इज नो वे टू रिकवर आउट 
are you able to see this hmm so what are we saying we are saying that there are few conditions that are there on the output that once the output of a gate is discharged it cannot be charged again the inputs to the gate can make at most one transition during an evaluation so if we talking about a glitch that glitch uh, input going to one it discharged the gate and now the zero input going back to zero will not charge it again so inputs so a glitches are absolutely unacceptable in dynamic gates huh then Sir, it may not go to zero actually if my glitch is very small my output may reduce but it not go to zero directly so what do you mean by a glitch for a short pulse i have a 1 to 0 goes to 1 and 0 so short is an assumption for me glitch is any spurious transition okay consider a adder in the adder ripple carry adder huh these cis just keep on getting evaluated yes so the ci can go to one for a reasonable amount of time yes but it is still a glitch yes so short was your assumption is it not yes sir If I have a very big device. Even a short glitch can lead to discharge. Yes. Yes. So again, as a designer, always look at the worst case, failure mode, when you are designing, when you are verifying. Are you able to see this? Hmm. So we so, don't. We don't want to keep it floating. We have to make it somehow to not keep it floating. Yes, so that is a challenge that we as designers have. So, what do you think we can do? We did something in the static gates. What what can we do? We had these signals V X going to V D minus V T or something like that. To do it, to correct it to V D, we added something. What did we do? Abhi abhi, thodi se pehle. Output buffer. Output buffer. Vx के लिए restorer level restorer after the inverter we said the letters there let there be a feedback we made a half latch so the level restorer restored the level from Vx to Vd over here what can we do we can also put a restorer over here so that if there is some charge that has gone because of a glitch or something it can be recovered. Are you able to see this? So, what are the properties of dynamic gates? First is that the total number of transistors is n plus two versus two n for static CMOS. Huh? Then you get full swing outputs. We're not talking worried about ratio logic just yet. Huh? You will get full zero and full ones. so non ratio sizing and do you realize that as soon as you reduce the number of uh, transistors that an input goes to you reduce the logical effort since you reduce the logical effort of the design the overall path delays reduce very very significantly so there is reduced input capacitance there is reduced output capacitance also ha huh. and therefore overall delays are expected to be less additionally now these are positives what is also happening is that even if there is no static path uh the problem is that power consumption in these gates will be higher why let us consider a case that let's consider the case of a static nand ha huh. uh so this is the last thing that we are doing so let's consider the case of a static nand uh, static means uh, a two input nand a b CK and CK. 
ठीक है नाउ इन द प्रीवियस साइकल्स ए एंड बी वर बोथ वन सो वट दे हैड डन दिस आउटपुट वाई वॉज डिस्चार्ज बट वेन सी के वेंट टू जीरो वॉट हैपन्ड दिस आउटपुट गॉट फ्री चार्ज A and B did not toggle. When the next clock came, this output will discharge again. Now there was no toggle in A and B. Had it been a static inverter, a static NAND gate, would there have been any power consumption? No sir. No sir. But over here, I consume power. So my activity factor has at once. increased very significantly are you able to see this in every cycle i am discharging and charging discharging and charging sir i mean because uh, activity factor of the clock is the highest and here it is controlled by the clock itself so yes. it will be the most taxing yes maximum yes ha na so are you able to see this एरिया एरिया बच गया बट पावर बेकार पावर बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गई एडिशनली एसुनाज देर इज सम ग्लिच ऑन द इनपुट सिग्नल्स इवन अ स्मॉल ग्लिच ऑन द इनपुट सिग्नल्स एज वी जस्ट सॉ द आउटपुट द रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ द आउटपुट शार्ट टू सफर because once it discharges there is no way to bring it back so in the next class we will look at these restorer wala concepts and the other concepts which are used so that we are able to use dynamic gates appropriately in our designs okay we will close the class here we already at 130 okay sir yes sir can we keep that uh, clock nos uh, and mos first uh, and then pdn network Mm. Okay. Because what difference uh, will it make? Because uh, at the output capacitance will be reduced, I think. Okay. No problem. You can do that. We don't usually do that because uh, uh, we don't want uh, clock. See, as soon as clock toggles, there will be noise on the output again. Hmm. So. we don't want that also to happen but it's okay you can do that that's not usually done though sir we want the path delay get increase sir in that case because my clock is getting in between yeah see in this gate clock has to come first and then other signals will be evaluated theek okay? hai but uh, if you put it like that a uh, clock on the top even then it's okay because as soon as clock comes other inputs have already been evaluated on the nmos stack and you would give an output can try that it's not usually done think why what could be the failure